Hey everybody, it is Abby once again, and today I want to show you what I have been learning with my 3D printed prosthetic. And it wants to show you too, right arm? Okay, we're good. What have I been learning with this thing? What have I learned to do? What have I trained? To do what am I training <laughs> with the arm with arm which is on if you follow me on TikTok follow me on TikTok ask ab show on TikTok pop 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 tick <laughs> follow me on TikTok ask ab show I've been making a couple videos with arm so anyway point is on TikTok this has earned the title nickname arm so me and arm are gonna show you what we've been learning today the last thing that y'all saw was me unboxing this and just being able to control it by pressing the little LED indicator button guy right there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, well, I can do a lot more than that now, though it's still limited. Um, I'm still learning a lot. I have learned some cool things. All right, first, basically how this thing works is if the LED indicator light is a certain color, right now it's green, that means that I can do certain movements. What I can do with it is dependent upon the color and it's dependent upon the thumb position which I have to move manually. Also, I can move my whole forearm manually. So green with open thumb position is pretty much just going to be like shake your hand. Nice to meet you. I'm a robot and I'm not Australian. Closed thumb position. Flex my paw inside the socket. Does a fist and you really want to fight. So if I have to, you know, get in a fight, I'm gonna change the green. It's gotta be like real quick in the moment. Just like, yo, you wanna fight? Hold on, I'm changing this to green real quick. And I'm closing this up. I'm ready. Bye! Sometimes, sometimes um, arm will react when I didn't mean for it to because my paw is still kind of like trying to get the, the fit right and the get used to how it's sitting against these sensors on the inside. And sometimes it just, I did that one on purpose. <laughs> anyway, that's green open it back up, it will automatically change to an open position. Well, done! Next, let's talk about white. The LED light is white. Open position. Now, I don't have to do the thumb. Flex my paw, thumbs up, grab, I suppose, open. <laughs> Ooh, ah. All right, close the thumb. Oh, so now you are watching me talk to you and I am pointing at you but you know what's cooler than that if I flex my paw oh it's a little grabby thing I'm gonna use this discarded Father's Day birthday card that I gave my dad that he forgot to take home because um, he doesn't love me okay we need to work a little bit on how tight this will be but that can be changed, it can be adjusted. That's a really cool thing about Unlimited Tomorrow's technology is that they can make just tiny, tiny adjustments to how, like how the distance between fingers and how they, how they move and how they react, sensitivity and all that stuff. So probably need to adjust that a little bit, but in essence, it's supposed to work like you can hold something, hand it to somebody, hold it and look at it, I suppose. He didn't take it home. I'm holding on to it because I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Anyway. Have a really happy fun. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't take it home. It's really stupid. Really stupid. Let's, let's move on. Now we are on blue. Open thumb position is default. It defaults to a fist. So I can't actually open the hand all the way up like before. It's on a fist and my thumb. So this is just, you know, you, you need to grab something as a matter of fact. I don't know why, but that just changed colors, which is kind of cool. Oh, 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 Now, let me say this, just as a little side note. I probably won't be playing the drums like I normally do with this prosthetic, although I'm sure I'll make a video about just trying it because it can't, you can't move your, you know, you have to move your wrist and arm, whatever, pretty fast. And the fact of the matter is, this does has too much weight to it and, and like not the right balance to be able to drum with it. But anyway, it's kind of cool, look at this. So I'm grabbing it with my thumb. That's so cool. Drop it. Closed blue. Closed thumb position. 
Ah, that is very cool. So now the thumb is on the inside and you can probably do a little bit more of a stable grip around things that way. All right, you guys, back to green. So yes, I have a lot to learn and I wanna show you how I use these movements and grips and changes and stuff on actual objects. Um, in a different video, I'm going to show you cool things um, that I am learning along the way. So please stay tuned, subscribe. You could even turn on alerts, which is like a bell, right? Anyway. All right, so that is all for now. If you don't follow Abshow on TikTok, ask Abshow on TikTok. That's where you can see some shorter kind of fun videos uh, here and there um, with ARM and with other things. And then also Abshow and Instagram, same sort of deal. If you have any comments, questions, things you'd like to see me try with ARM, comment below, do comment below because I love to read them and because I'm sure that there will be some ideas that I can try on video, on camera. Stay tuned for more arm stuff, life stuff, drawing stuff, one-handed life stuff in general. I will see you next time. Thumbs up arm.